As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Everybody is Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. So today I am going to be doing a retwist in style on my man's two-year-old locks. So let's get into today's video. So I went ahead and washed his hair off camera and now I'm just starting by oiling his scalp and hydrating his hair right now. I'm using some Jamaican black castor oil and then I'm also going to be using the Talia Waheed African healing oil. So I did not start his locks but I have been maintaining them for like the past eight months. I'm not a professional but I do enjoy learning um, and working on his hair, working on my hair, and just improving my overall technique. Um, so yeah, this is his hair. I am going to be doing a lock detox on his hair really soon, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can see that because he's had a lot of people in his head and they've used all kind of products, so <laughs> he definitely needs a detox really, really soon. So for his retwist today, I'm going to be using aloe vera gel. Like I said, his locks are two years and some change. So he's definitely matured enough to where he doesn't need like a super strong hold. And I just mainly focus on retwisting his roots and his new growth. So yes, that's the product I'm going to be using. And he also goes into a style after Every time I retwist his hair, he gets it put in the style right away, which makes his retwist last a lot longer as well. So like I said, we don't need like a strong holding product for his hair. So I'm using the aloe vera gel and I'm just starting using my um, retwisting comb. And yeah, I retwist the roots, clip it, and that's my method. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to let the music play and you guys can watch me work and then I'm going to check back in once we move to the next step.
Then when I get to the top of his head around his hairline, I do use the Natural Elegance Locked Up Retwisting product just to give a more sleeker look, you know, for the top and the front. And this is how his hair looks after everything has been retwisted. So I'm going to take some wrapping paper and just tie down the front of his head. And then I'm going to sit him under the dryer for about 45 minutes um, to an hour, however long it takes for his hair to completely dry. And then we're going to move on to styling. and we're back so i'm gonna start by removing that paper and you guys can see how neat and everything looks he hasn't even got his hair cut yet and it still looks like really really good and then next i'm just going to start removing the clips Alright, so for today's style, we are going to be doing three barrel twists. I actually learned how to barrel twist on his head. Um, we used to just always do two, but today he wanted to try three. Um, so he showed me a picture, and I'm going to do my best to attempt it. So I'm going to start by just sectioning his hair off for the three twists before I actually start twisting. He only has locks in the center of his head, so I have to map everything out like before I start just to make sure everything is symmetrical and even and stuff like that. So that's just what I'm doing here before I actually start the barrel twist. So I'm just going to start on my first barrel twist. Um, I have another video on my channel where I kind of break down the process of how to barrel twist. So I'll leave that video down below if you guys want like a more detailed version. But yes, I'm barrel twisting his hair. Um, like I said, I learned how to barrel twist on his hair. And his hair has like sprouted over these last couple of months. I'm like, your hair got so long out of nowhere. So, but I say all that to say is that I'm still like perfecting my own method of barrel twisting and learning and everything like that. Especially, like I said, his hair is getting longer. So I noticed that my method that I was using before doesn't always work and you know again it's always a learning process and I enjoy learning so yeah um I'm doing that first braid and what I will say is that don't be afraid to go back and redo parts if it's not looking right you can always go unravel it and fix it that's how you get better that's how you learn um, so yeah, once I start running out of locks, I use the rubber band to secure it. And honestly, I use as many rubber bands as I need. I know some people like have a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to using rubber bands, but they work for me. Um, obviously, don't do it to the point where your client's hair or whoever's hair you're doing is uncomfortable, but but depending on the length of the person's hair, like you're going to need some rubber bands to keep it in place and keep it secure. And like I said, we don't have any problems with this. In about a week or so, um, a lot of those rubber bands are going to start popping. And by the time he gets ready to take this style out, most of his rubber bands will have popped. Or once he starts to take it out, they pop on their own. And he also oils his hair daily so that so that also helps the rubber bands pop more easily and not get tangled in his hair so yeah now i'm just on the other side doing the other braid or the other barrel twist i should say
and then once I secure that last braid I'm just going to connect all three twists he likes for all of them to be like connected into a little bun so again I'm using more rubber bands and I'm going to do my best to tuck those ends as much as possible to create a neat bun and here is what we're working with So I'm just going to foam him down and then I set him under the dryer for like another 5 to 10 minutes. And then after that, he went and got a haircut. And here is the final look. And so, yes, I love the way that this style came out. I was very proud of myself. I think I did a really good job, especially since, y'all, I'm still very new to these lock styles um i've only been locked for a little over a year and i've only been doing lock styles for like a year so i was really proud and happy of, with these results but thank you all for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you like to see more lock content definitely leave me some suggestions down in the comment section don't forget to follow me on instagram snatched by charmel and i will see you beautiful people in my next video bye